Well, well, well. <laughs> Looks like Sleeping Beauty finally woke up. <laughs> Welcome back to the world of the living, my dear hero. Oh, what is it with that defiant facial expression? You almost look upset, my dear. Should I take that as an insult? <laughs> you should be glad you're still alive. <laughs> I could have easily ended you while you were sleeping oh so, so peacefully. Don't you think that graciousness should be rewarded? <laughs> Come on, hero. You know you want me to better myself. <laughs> oh, hero, hero, hero. Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, well, I suppose it's obvious I didn't keep you alive out of the kindness of my heart, but you don't have to be so blunt about it. Fine. Have it your way, then. Your silence won't get you anywhere, except my personal torture chamber. Once I've had enough of your stone-cold facade, <laughs> I wouldn't mind hearing you scream a bit for a change. So far, you've always been so brave, taking every hit I threw at you without more than a flinch. I want to see what you look like squirming in pain. I want to hear that lovely voice of yours moaning <laughs> and screaming for me, begging for my mercy. And trust me, darling, I always get what I want. And right now, what I want more than anything in this world is you. <laughs> I admit, I did play dirty, but in the end, who really cares? Ever since I first saw you on the news, I knew. I knew I had to meet you. Those powers of yours are extraordinary. I knew I needed them for myself. And a hero like you doing my every bidding? <laughs> well, let's just say that didn't sound too bad either. <laughs> I wonder what kind of face you hide beneath that mask of yours. What kind of boring person are you away from the spotlight? I spent hours thinking about who you could be. What kind of job you might work. Now finally, I get to take this thing off of you. See you for who you really are. And I... For one, cannot wait to peek behind the mask and... Uh... Is... Um, is what? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry, I am. Um, I half expected you to be hideous, my dear hero, but yet again, you surprised me. <laughs> what a cute little face you have. Even though you're expression could be better. You look so hostile, my dear. Re relax a bit. I'm not going to bite you yet, unless you ask nicely. Okay, okay, bad joke. Oh, come now, hero. Surely you don't just plan to sit there in silence until the end of time. Don't you want to give up that tough act of yours. Let go of all those responsibilities that come with being a hero. Your moral code, your ethics, everything. Let go. You could take over the world, yet you confide yourself to this blatant sense of ignorance and morality. <laughs> come on, hero. Let go. Surely you're tired of it all. All those expectations being forced upon you. All those eyes constantly following you every step. Don't you want to let go of all of that? I mean, you go through this cycle every single time. You fight the bad guys who torment the city. 
only for them to get released, not even weeks later, or for them to escape. How many people do you think that you've allowed to inadvertently get hurt because you continued with this stupid, antiquated system of morality? <laughs> oh, hero, hero, hero. <laughs> I don't think you understand. I doubt you've ever understood. The problem with every hero is they need a villain. When are you going to stop and realize that your efforts are futile? Same old cycle like I told you. You arrest them, they go to prison, they break out again, and they cause more torment and pain for everyone. <laughs> Your powers are worth so much more than those people allow you to believe. You have so many possibilities, a limitless potential. So much. You could do so much if you only realized your true potential. This is your permission to break. To break from that silver screen to do whatever you please for what's unhinged, unshackled by the morality of this world. Oh, darling, look into my eyes. What, are you scared I'll hypnotize you? Come on, look at me. You're still so convinced this is the right path for you, but trust me. I was something... <laughs> or rather, I have something at the moment much better planned for us. You just have to let me in. The two of us could rule the world if we wanted to. Nobody would stand in our path. You can't stop crime. That's what you never understood about this world. Evil will always be there. But you can join it. You can manipulate it. You can use it. So you're not even going to give me a reaction? You're a lot harder to crack than I thought. Hero. <laughs> so come on. Say something. Say something. <laughs> Darling, I will break you. I don't care what it takes. I will make you mine. In every single way I can possibly think of, I will make you mine. I will make you understand. Do you want that? Do you really believe you will be able to take that? I will find out exactly who you are, everyone dear to you, and I will bring them to you in pieces because they're not worthy of you I'll make you understand my way and you will rule with me by your side every step of the way trust me I have ways to make sure you stay in line oh, it would be quite the explosive mistake to disobey me Unless you want to cause even more pain and suffering, for now, you listen to me. You will have to watch <laughs> as I take away your precious city. As I take your love, your care. Maybe that will finally get a reaction from you. You may be strong enough to take physical pain, but what if I destroy you? Mentally. Will that still be worth fighting for, I wonder? Are you willing to give up everything for the slightest chance of escape? Willing to sacrifice the lives of others and stand against everything you believe in? Or even give up your own safety? If I were to release your identity, would a world like that truly birth be worth fighting for? 
a world where all your greatest enemies know who you are. Where your family and friends have been eradicated from the face of the earth. Where there's nothing left of what you once loved. Still nothing, huh? <laughs> Ever so cold and unapproachable as always. Seeing you like this is making me want to wrap my hands around your throat. And squeeze until you beg me to stop. Why must you be so stubborn, hero? Tell me, how long is it going to take until you give up this little act of yours? And finally realize you're mine. There's no escaping it anymore. There's no grand fights on the bridge in front of all of the police and the newscasters. There's no grand exit for you. There's me and you. You tied up here. Me wielding a knife and a crowbar. <laughs> There's nothing that is stopping me anymore. And there's nothing that's holding you back. So I don't see why you won't work with me. There's no escaping it anymore. You're trapped. I caught you. And I intend to keep you here until you finally change your goddamn mind. I don't care what I have to break in the process. I don't care how long it takes me. I promise I will make you mine. And at the end of this, you'll be thanking me for it. I will free you from the chains of society, everything that people have put on you. And you will realize just how much you want to be with me, how much you need me by your side. You're not convinced? You will be soon enough, hero. I will make you feel so much pain. You'll forget everything. Beg me for mercy for death, and I won't grant it to you. I will, however, make you a different kind of deal. I'm kind enough to let you join me, darling, and you'll be drooling at the thought of me reaching my hands out to you. You will grab it so fast, you won't even realize what you did. Your body and mind will be yearning for release, for my generosity. At the end of this, you will have nothing left but me. I will be the one constant, the one thing in your mind. The only reason... You keep going. And that, my dear decrepit hero, is a promise. Hello everybody, my name is the Man of Culture. <laughs> if you like this video, please, darling, make sure to comment, like, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Also, consider donating as it funds the channel and everything that I do. Please, I want to give a special shout out to all my loyal tier 3 Patreon subscribers. Maca Michaela, Montaigne, Castiel, <laughs> Ari, Serene Crown. Thank you for subscribing to tier 3. You're all amazing. I hope you all have an amazing day. Make sure to check out the Discord. And check out my Twitter. Donation links are in the description. Have a great day. I love all of you. <laughs>